Hi, my name is Cal Van Doren. I'm a systems engineer here at AGI. And today, I'm going to walk you through how you can use the Spectrum Analyzer tool in the communications bundle. So one thing that the Spectrum Analyzer tool is great for is analyzing all of the communications links that you have in the frequency domain. So it goes beyond just the link budget calculations you can normally do. And you can actually show the, the frequency uh, domain signals of, of all of your different communication links. So the scenario that we're going to use to model this today is a check ride for a helicopter. Now here you can see this helicopter. We have an antenna and a, and a receiver on it. And this is a bladed custom gain pattern. And the main communication link from this helicopter will be up to a geosatellite. So I'll show you that geosatellite here. And you can see that green access line going from our geosat all the way down to where our helicopter is in Southern California. So this is the main communication link that we're going to be analyzing in this scenario. And we've modeled a few different sources of interference that we'll be analyzing within this communication link. So one of those that you can see is these two bands of a LEO constellation. This is no specific LEO constellation, but just a generic one. And each of these LEO satellites, uh, as we'll show here, has a narrow band transmitter on it. And so this is a, it's a very narrow field of view. However, it's transmitting at a very similar frequency to what our geosat's transmitting at. And so, you know, this is potentially a source of concern for interference. So with over 100,000 planned satellites coming up in the next 10 years, most of which in LEO constellations like this, this is a very relevant interference source that many of you may see in the near future. And so it's a, it's a relevant example for us to use, hopefully something that will be helpful to show the spectrum analyzer. So I've already done a little bit of analysis ahead of time and looked into the carrier to noise ratio of our main comm link versus the carrier to noise plus interference if I factor in all of these satellite transmitters as interference. So this is what the plot that you'll see here. The black line is the carrier to noise of just our standard comm link, and the green line is the carrier to noise with interference, incorporating the interference from the transmitters on these LEO satellites. So you can see here there's a large deviation over this small time period where the carrier to noise plus interference is significantly lower than the standard carrier to noise. This is a sign that we have interference. This is a perfect candidate for a location to show the spectrum analyzer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is right click on our graph, set the animation time to just before this source of interference, and then I'm going to look in the 3D graphics window to see that this makes sense. I can see our satellite looking down, I can see the field of view of its transmitter, and I can see that it's probably about to pass just over our check ride, and so it makes sense that since it's transmitting at a similar frequency to our geosat, that there might be interference here. So what I'm going to do is open up the spectrum analyzer. If you don't already have it open, this can be open from the button right up here, but I already do. And so I'm going to configure my windows for a moment just to give us a better view. And then we'll orient ourselves in the spectrum analyzer. So what you see here is that we're locked onto receiver view. So this is all of the signals that our receiver on the helicopter are seeing. Now I have added our transmitter on our GeoSat. That's the white signal here. And then I've also added the transmitter on this LeoSat 101, which is the sat that I've determined is probably causing this interference. And so as you can see here, this is a plot of these two signals in the frequency domain. And I can see that right now, while there is interference, the geosat is still the dominating signal, and so it's not an issue. However, if I have a low enough time step and I, and I start to step through this scenario, I can see that right as the LEOSAT passes over, its signal outgains the, the geo signal, and so that is where we're seeing our interference on the plot below here. So let's just run through that scenario one more time so that we can get a good look at it. Now at the bottom again, you can see our carrier to noise and carrier to noise plus interference graph. And you can correlate that to where the signal from the LEOSAT overtakes the signal from the GEOSAT in the spectrum analyzer. And of course, we have our 3D graphics window just so we can visualize everything. So I'll lower the time step once again, and we can step through this. So you can see the, the LEOSAT signal is starting to outgain the GEOSAT signal. And right when this carrier to noise plus interference deviates from our standard carrier to noise is when you can see that the LEOSAT signal is overtaking the GEOSAT signal, and this is our interference. So this shows you the power of the spectrum analyzer tool, where just looking at the carrier to noise ratio plot, you can tell that there's interference, but you can actually see all of the different lobes in the frequency domain and actually watch as the signal on the receiver overtakes um, the, the standard comm link signal from the GEOSAT. So one other source of interference that we have modeled in this scenario is a handheld jammer. And this is on one of the mountain peaks nearby. 
And so this was actually not a planned source of interference. Um, however, it's an omnidirectional transmitter, and it's transmitting at a very similar frequency. And so when we look at this, a similar carrier to noise ratio graph, where this time the interference is this handheld jammer just nearby, you can see that the carrier to noise plus interference is almost always different from the carrier to noise for just the standard comlink. And this is because, again, this transmitter is not mounted on a satellite that's going by, it's mounted on a, on a peak nearby. And so you can also model this signal in the spectrum analyzer. I'll go ahead and add that and remove the LeoSat. And now, even if I up the time step and go very quickly through our scenario, I can see that this purple signal from the, the transmitter on top of the peak nearby is almost constantly dominating the signal from the GeoSat. So once again, this is just another application, another potential source of interference that you can model within the spectrum analyzer and get a little more detail than just looking through the, the carrier to noise or just the link budget calculations. The link budget calculations give you a good after the fact indication. However, the spectrum analyzer will show you directly the cause of the interference, exactly what is happening. So with that, I encourage you to try this yourself if you have the communications bundle. And if you ever have any questions, as always, we're here for you at support at AGI.com. Thanks for watching.